like I'm Pat Mahomes. She blowing me like a saxophone. I call them shots that can't tap my phone. It's hella way, get your money long. I just been like you and me, myself. They think I'm crazy or crazy. Honestly, I can care less what they think. Really, I just want the 50s and 50s. What it do, YouTube? It's your boy Trey, man, and I'm back with that pressure, man. Now, look, y'all, look, 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 look. It's been two weeks, y'all, since I have posted. Um, I'm sorry. You hear me, y'all? I am sorry, bro. It's been a lot going on um, with me in my life. It's been a lot of stuff happening. Um, I'm preparing to move. Y'all already know that if y'all watch my previous videos, but I am preparing to move. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting stuff together, and I've been cleaning you feel me getting day by day been doing stuff getting stuff ordered to the crib all types of stuff you feel me so i've been i've been dealing with that getting all types of stuff together but y'all bro i literally moved in a few days and i would be lying if i said i was not happy as hell bro like i am so ready and excited to move bro it's truly a blessing um feel me being able to to move on to something better you know what i'm saying move on to something bigger and better upgrade for me so i'm truly blessed bro and i'm truly thankful and grateful and i appreciate all of y'all bro like for real bro i appreciate every single one of y'all but look i'm about to show y'all how my crib looking right now and it don't look like too different because the stuff is still up like certain like tv playstation stuff is still up but like all i gotta do is get that taken down you feel me like take that off the mount and all that have my homie Jalen come through and get that off the tv and stuff but like in terms of cleaning bro i already like threw away a lot of stuff i didn't need all i need to do now really like when they get close to that day of me moving is package all my clothes up um i gotta take apart my bed i ain't gonna lie this moving stuff kind of be stressful y'all i ain't gonna lie i feel like like since it's closer now my mind is like go 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 do 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 like that's how i'm feeling right now but I actually got a little time, a little time, because my moving day in my new crib is not like, how do I explain it? So basically this crib right here, the whole apartment gotta be vacated by a certain day, but it's not on the same day that I move into my new crib. So I'm actually gonna be able to have my new crib and then have this one for a little bit. You feel me? Still have this one for a little bit of time. But um, yeah, I got a little bit of time, but it still feel like go, 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 cause it's so close. But like I said, y'all, I'm about to show y'all how my crib looking right now. Um, I'm actually, I just separated my, my couch real quick because I'm about to clean up the rug because at first I was gonna throw it away, but I'm actually gonna give it to somebody because it's dirty, it's worn out, but you know, it, it probably just need a good cleaning <laughs> voice crack, bro. Y'all, I lost my voice the other day, so if y'all hear voice cracks, bro, bear with me. But yeah, I think the rug just need a, need a good cleaning um, and it'll be okay, but I'm just not doing it. So I'm gonna give it to uh, somebody that's gonna use it, you feel me? But I'm about to clean that and stuff. But I hope, bro, I hope y'all been okay. How y'all been? Y'all been good, bro? Y'all mental health been good? Nobody been asking y'all. If no one has asked y'all, bro, Trey gonna ask y'all. How has y'all mental health been? Y'all been okay? Y'all been good? Let me know in the comments, bro. Let me know. But if y'all could do me a favor, bro, just like this video up. Y'all, um comment you feel me subscribe if you new uh i'm gonna I'm probably be doing a few things in this vid none too much i know i'm probably about to also go sell my camera um so my other camera not this one so um yeah it, it's really just a process bro i'm getting to it but i'm about to show y'all how the crib looking right now all right so y'all like i told y'all feel me i separated the couch um stepping over this one part of the couch right here another part of the couch right here if y'all can see over here i got you feel me? A bunch of packages from Amazon already stacked up right there. I still got more coming today, actually. So I need to make sure, you know, that I'm here if they need me to be here or whatever. But um, y'all look, you feel me? Y'all see how dirty the, the, the carpet, the rug is? So for me, in my head, I'm just like, bro, I'm not using that. Like, like I'm not using that no more, bro. So I was about to throw it away, but I'm going to give it away, Um, you know, but where am i about to start bro first i'm about to start by i guess sweeping sweeping up what i need to sweep vacuuming it and then i'm gonna just roll it up and put it in this right here and i'm gonna put it in this this like storage closet right here it's kind of crazy when i think about it how fast the year went you feel me like the year really flew bro and i'm on to another crib bro and it's like when i think about it real deal when i think about it i'm not let me let me be transparent i am not sad to leave here i'm ready I'm completely ready. But I know like probably when I leave, it's gonna be like, like, damn. Like this is where I started in terms of like first crib type vibe. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, 
this is where this is where you feel me my first crib was so i'm never gonna forget it that's one thing that hey regardless how many times i move i'm never gonna forget my first crib and this was my first crib bro this was a nigga first crib bro this right here this was a nigga first crib yep and i'm proud of it i'm um thankful bro and I really appreciate y'all, bro. Like, I can't say that enough. But I ain't trying to make this a, a a a sad story, a preaching story. You feel me? So I'm about to get to it. I'm about to start sweeping. Um, and matter of fact, I'm probably gonna show y'all a little bit of me cleaning it up and getting stuff together. So it's probably gonna be sped up at this or at that point, like you know when I'm doing certain stuff. But I'm gonna prop y'all up, show y'all a little bit. Let's get to it. A few moments later, bro. I ain't gonna lie. It's a lot of junk on this damn carpet, bro. I guess you never really realize how much junk be behind the couches and under the couches and shit until you move it, bro. Cause like, bro, I'm seeing Aquaphor, bro. I'm seeing lighters. I'm seeing hats, socks, Capri Sun. Like, where this come from, bro? Like, Capri Sun package. I don't even know what this is, but like, bro. Like tops, bro. Like it's all types of stuff right here, bro. So like, 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 like. I'm really about to have to like, like, like get to it. You know what I'm saying? But here's a hair, oh, it's a hair tie right there, I'm sure. It's a hair tie, I might be able to use this one. But, um, yeah, y'all, I'm about to go get the, the broom and the vacuum. So, let me go do that. So, I got the vacuum, feel me? Got the broom. Um, I'm about to sit the vacuum over here. Right there. And, shit, I'm about to just get to sweeping, bro. Bro, this rug is so dirty bro like you really don't realize how much stuff oh my gosh i'm gonna actually sweep it over here onto the floor so i get it all off bro some of the rug is great bro hey <laughs> this rug been through hell y'all i can't lie bro this rug been through hell but it's good it did me good y'all know this was actually like a a 400 rug though this, this was not a cheap rug. And when I first bought it, y'all, I loved it, bro. I absolutely loved it. No okay. cap. This part right here, um, probably about to be sped up a little bit. So I'm about to just continue sweeping, and y'all gonna see that in the sped up version. Feel me? All right. Bro, this rug dirty as hell, bro. Like, like. Like, it just got so much on it, bro. Like, that's really what it is. Like, it ain't, yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. It's time for it to go, brother. So, um, I think I think I didn't honestly swept up enough. Now I feel like uh, the vacuum gonna be able to get get more of the. You feel me? Like, yeah, y'all know what I'm saying. But look, let me show y'all. This everything I didn't <laughs> swept up. Like, y'all see, it's a, a lot of little junk. I don't want none of this. The shirt, <laughs> Man, bro. It was hats, um, socks, all types of stuff, bro. All types of stuff. Bro. Now, I'm about to plug in this vacuum. We about to get to vacuuming, bro. Y'all, I really like, I can believe it, but like, how fast the time has came, bro. Like, bro, time go by so fast, bro. Cherish your time, bro. Time is one thing you can't get back. You can get money back. You can buy a product, lose it. You can get that back. But time, bro, you will never, ever, ever be able to get your time back. So don't be out here wasting your time. Don't be out here putting your energy towards stuff that, that you feel me, is not good for you. Your time is everything, bro. That's why people say, like, the saying going, time is money. Because a lot of people don't understand, bro, like, when, when you doing stuff, when you working, when, ooh, or like, say for me, if I'm doing something or I'm, Providing a service, hey, my time is money, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? I need to be compensated, bro. Like, time is everything because that is one thing 
that you can't get back. So don't be out here, bro, playing around with your time, bro. Your time is valuable. And another reason your time is valuable is because you don't know how much time that you have, bro. Real shit. But let me uh let me get to vacuum. You feel me? I ain't trying to preach, bro. I'm just I'm just keeping it buck, you know what I'm saying? A few moments later. Alright y'all. I really think that's a good amount of vacuuming, bro. The the rug does look better in terms of like stuff that was on it, like clutter and junk and stuff. It does look better than uh, before for sure. The only problem is like the white on here is faded and stuff. That's really the main problem. And I don't feel like getting it clean or nothing like that. And this is not even gonna go with the color scheme of anything I'm trying to do for real in my new crib, so I really had no purpose with this. But what I'm about to do is, I got a small vacuum as well, like a mini vacuum, and I'm about to go through it to get like the little stuff I wasn't able to get with this one. Y'all, bro, like I was saying about the time, bro, you know, because it just came back to my mind. Have you ever got your time wasted? You know what I'm saying? Like, have you ever got your time wasted? Just think about that real quick. Right? Remember how getting your time wasted made you feel? Right? You remember that? It's not a good feeling. I feel like that feeling of, damn, I just got my time wasted. is like such a, a bad feeling, bro. Like, cause there's been t plenty times in my life, you feel me, where I didn't done something or whatever, or I've been waiting on somebody or depending on somebody or, you feel me? Something like that. And they just literally waste my time. Or it's something that I could have been informed on earlier on, you feel me? But like communication was bad. So it's just like my time just got wasted. And getting your time wasted, like I said, bro, because time is very valuable. It is a terrible feeling, bro. Nobody likes getting their time wasted. So, hey, don't let these people play with y'all time, bro. Real deal. But everybody out there listening to me, don't let nobody play with your time, bro. Your time is valuable, and your time is money. You feel me? Don't let nobody play with that. But where is that little vacuum, okay? So look, y'all. This is my little vacuum, bro. I love this vacuum. Like, this vacuum is so goaded, bro. I got this off of Amazon, like, around when I first moved in, and, like, it's goaded. But matter of fact, I need to go empty the, uh, the tray and I'm about to go empty this real quick and then I'm about to come back to y'all. I feel like that's enough. That's all I'm gonna really be able to get with that. So look, I'm about to lower y'all real quick. So y'all can see me rolling up this rug. Let's just start from here. Y'all remember when I got this rug, boy? I was so hot carrying this thing up, up here. Like, it's crazy. I'm just gonna have bare floor, bro. I haven't seen that since I first moved in, bro. This is crazy. Ah, damn, this rug heavy as hell, boy. <laughs> this rug heavy as hell, boy. I could've did, I ain't gonna lie, I'm bogus as hell for this rolling job, bro. I could've, I could've, I could've did it better. Ain't nobody booking me to roll up they rug. Ugly. Really, nigga? No cap. Hold on. Can I fold the rug? Hey, this might work. So, what I'm about to do, y'all, I need to work out, bro. That, that shouldn't even have me out of shape. But what I'm about to do is, I'm about to get the rug, I'm about to put it in my, um, my storage closet, and then I'm gonna uh, sweep this area up, and then the next time I come on the camera, y'all gonna see me putting my couches back where it was, or couches, my couch back where it was. And yeah, eventually that's gonna be gone soon too, this couch. But uh, I got a little time, I got a little time to figure out what I'm gonna do with it, but not too much time. So I really need to get that situated as, as soon as possible for real, no cap. Hey, if any of y'all need a, a black sectional couch, now I'm not gonna lie, it is kind of worn. It got a few holes in it. I'm gonna keep it a buck. Um, 
yeah, it, it's, it's a little dirty, it could be cleaned up, but if y'all need like a good starter couch and kind of like a little, a little luxury type look, you know what I'm saying? Hey, feel free to DM me on Instagram. My Instagram is RNS Trey with three Y's at the end. Feel me? Hit me up. But um, yeah, next time I come on the camera, y'all gonna see me putting the couches back where they were. All right? Why well, I keep saying couches? The couch, bro. Stop it. Get some help. All right, y'all. So I had to come out my shirt, bro. I had to, I had to come out my shirt because that rug was actually heavy as hell to lift. But like I told y'all, next time I was coming back to the camera, about to. Uh, Put my couches back together, so that's what I'm about to do right now, bro. I'm not gonna lie, like last year, the moving process wasn't that that crazy. You know why? Because all I had to take was my clothes, like my game, like stuff like that. You feel me? Not furniture. I ain't have to worry about my own furniture and TVs and and coffee tables and lamps and and couches and bar stools. And now I got all this, all these boxes, right? I ain't had to worry about that, you feel me, when I was coming out of my Duke's crib. But now that I got my own crib, bro, the moving process is hard. I'm gonna keep it a buck. So for those out there, bro, preparing to get your first crib, not gonna lie, moving to your first crib, your own, by yourself, it, it probably ain't gonna be that bad. You know what I'm saying? It, the, the stress just gonna come with like looking for the stuff you need and trying to get everything together. So that's probably the most stressful thing. But when you have your first crib and you go into another one, you feel like you're actually moving and like you gotta really get stuff in. Yeah, bro. That's when it get a little, little tricky, but. All right, I'm gonna start with, um, which one am I gonna start with first? Okay, I think this. I ain't trying to see. Okay, so what I'm doing, what it's doing to the floor, it, it comes out. So I'm, I'm good. Yeah, bro, like, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I don't be fooling with the couches, the beds, like assembling stuff like that. I don't. I be letting the people that really know what they do, the big shit. The dressers, the, the, nah, bro. I've only done stuff like that for my mama in terms of like assembling the closet and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like one of those closets y'all can buy. That's, that's about, that's about the best, the best work I, I'm doing. I might hit around and break something. Knowing me, bro. All right, y'all, I'm about to try to like, okay. I don't think that's gonna work. Um, I wish I had somebody else here with me, bro. I wish one of y'all could help me, bro. I think I actually broke one of these pieces right here on the couch. Like the couch kind of fried, dog. Yeah. Then, then, yeah. Okay. Let me get this stand out the way too. Y'all, I ain't gonna lie, bro. The stand fell, but I'm not gonna lie. Crib kind of look. Different though, without the without the rug, that's crazy. But let me let me get this right, bro. My dumb ass. But yeah, bro, the crib look different, y'all. That's crazy. I think I'm gonna just leave it like this. I think, yeah, I'm gonna just leave it like that. Who about to bring the coffee table back? Oh, you hell me, really, nigga. All right, so we moved it. This house is looking. This is crazy. I haven't seen the crib like this, bro. Since I first moved in, bro. I'm not gonna lie. And I ain't, when I first moved in, I ain't even had this coffee table. That was an addition later on. Like my mama bought it for me, like as a gift type thing for the crib. But yeah, I ain't even have a coffee table. But y'all, it's a literally bare floor. But it's actually cool. Like, it's not that bad. You know what I mean? It's actually cool. But, y'all, I'm breathing hard. I, what I'm about to do now is I'm about to straighten up a little bit up in here. Like, straighten up a little bit more. After I straighten up a little bit more, I'm about to get ready to dip. I'm, um, I'm probably about to go to Starbucks, y'all, actually, and get, like, some tea or something for my voice, like hot tea or something. Somebody told me about that. And um, I'm not supporting 
nothing, nothing Starbucks or whatever got going on. I heard a little bit, some negative about them. Starbucks right now, I'm not really educated on everything that's going on, but um, this just for my voice. Feel me, this just for my, my, you know, my throat and everything, no homo. Bruh. But just to, you feel me? Just to get me right. But once I get ready to leave, probably once I'm in the car, I'ma come back on to y'all and rap with y'all because I also need to sell my camera. So after I get Starbucks, I'm probably going to go to the place so I can sell my camera. And yeah, so I'm going to come back to y'all once we we doing all that. We getting into that. All right. Hey, wait, hold on. Gotcha, bitch. Like this damn video if you ain't like it. All right, I'll be back. So let me give y'all an update, bro. I told y'all I was going to come back to y'all once I was in the car. Um, Guess what happened, bro? My dumb ass. I left my camera at home. Bruh. However, I did go to uh, Starbucks, feel me? I got me a medicine ball. It was my first time ever having like the medicine ball drink. It was honestly cool. Um, I, I nearly burned my tongue off. Uh, the first sip I took, I nearly literally burned my tongue off. So now I know um, if I ever had this again, to give it some time to cool down for real. But man, it was pretty cool, bro. It was pretty cool. If I didn't tell y'all though, the other day, I did lose my voice completely. And as y'all hear, like, I'm still kind of cracking a little bit. And you feel me? It's like a little, little raspy, a little cracky. But, um, yeah, this this was pretty good, bro. This was pretty good. I felt like it, it, it helped me a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I also went to um, sell my camera. So I was able to sell my camera. You feel me? Get some cheese for it, whatever. Sell my camera. Um, that camera... That camera did me so good, y'all. Like, that camera really did me so good, bro. Like, I provided so much good content with the camera I just sold, bro. But I had got a better camera, better lens and all that. So, feel me? Like, hey, just next chapter with a lot of things. You feel me? Next step, next chapter with a lot of things. But I am I am really upset, though, that I left my camera. Because now I'm recording on my phone, y'all. I'm recording on my phone right now. But you know what, bro? You know what? This is really just like, you got to get it how you got to get it. And I ain't got my camera, so what's the next thing to do? Hey, instead of not recording anything, I decided to pick up my phone. You feel me? Because it's still a camera. It's just a different type of camera. And y'all, like, growing up, bro, did see, I, hey, I can really turn anything into a motivation. You feel me? And give y'all, like, a motivational type talk. But look, bro, while I was in high school, my basketball coach, bro, he used to try to instill stuff in us to make us better people and prepare for like real world situations, real life. Right. And back then I was probably very young minded. You know what I'm saying? Um, just worried about basketball. So so at times I would probably get like frustrated at things he would say or like how he would do things. You feel me? Because I'm just like, bro, I ain't trying to hear all that. Like, you know, what I'm saying? I ain't trying to hear all that, bro. I'm just trying to hoop. I know I'm good at hooping. And I'm just trying to hoop, bro. But, like, he really cared more about us being good people. You feel me? And and how we carry ourselves off the court than anything on the court, bro. Like, if you was a good player, bro, but a terrible person, he cared more about, A, your character and, and building your character than anything on the court, bro. And like I said, back then, I was young-minded, probably, you feel me? And was just like, hey, man, I want to hoop. But now that I'm older, bro, I really appreciate that. So I said all that to say, in my situation, I'm about to use myself in ex as an example right now. I'm about to use myself as an Why well, I can't get that out? I'm about to use myself as an example right now. There we go. Um, In this situation right here, where I'm using my phone because I left my camera at home. Bro, in life, things gonna happen. Things gonna go like how you don't expect it to go. You feel me? It's gonna go a different way. You gonna be disappointed. Um, You feel me? Life just gonna life, bro. But... It's important on how you respond to it, bro. Like, okay, uh, is life going to life and it's going to break you? Or is life going to life and you going to, all right, figure out a solution. Figure out something. You feel me? And when I was in high school, bro, anytime, like, we used to get in a circle, bro. We used to hop in a circle. And before we even start any basketball activities, bro, we had, like, a circle where we would hold each other accountable type shit. You feel me? So, like, for example... If I was late to class one day, when we get in a circle and you feel me, like everybody start talking, I'll raise my hand. Hey, I was late to class, whatever. Woo, woo, woo. And instead of making excuses, he made it to where you wasn't able to make no excuse. What's your solution? If you was late to class, what you about to do about it to be better? How you going to not be late to class again? You feel me? So 
I'm using that as an example as this situation. I left my camera at home, right? I left my camera at home and I could have chose not to film. I could have chose not to film. I could have chose to, uh, but no, nah, what is my solution? I had to think, no, nah, what's the solution? Because I told y'all I was gonna record when I get in the car and I don't wanna come back to y'all way later when I get back home and y'all, I forgot my camera. Woo, woo. Nah, bro, that's that's an excuse not to record when I got a camera still right here. So yeah, man, all, all that is to say and hopefully teach y'all, don't make excuses, bro. Figure out solutions, you feel me? Figure out solutions, figure out how, how you going how you gonna step up and be a man or whatever a woman and do do what you supposed to do bro like forget all that excuse stuff like life is gonna happen how you gonna respond to it you know what i'm saying and how i responded today in this situation is hey i left my camera but i picked up this camera so that's my solution that's my quick solution you know what i'm saying so hopefully y'all understand everything i said hopefully i explained in a way where y'all learn something you know what i'm saying and like i told y'all in my previous videos i'm trying to interact with y'all more bro like talk to y'all more on a personal level you feel me and yeah bro you know what i'm saying i feel like i feel like y'all can learn something from me bro i feel like i'm very mature mentally matter of fact not feel like i know i'm very mature mentally and when it's time to be serious and talk about real shit like i can have that conversation feel me i'm good at expressing and communicating when when it's time to communicate you know what i'm saying but um yeah, I hope y'all took something from that, bro. But I am at Deuce Crib right now. So I'm about to go in, you feel me, get settled, rap with him, whatever. I might put him on a camera. I might not, depending on what we doing, you feel me, how long I'm here, whatever. The next time y'all might see me, maybe when I'm up in there or when I'm back home, you feel me? So, um, yeah, make sure you like this video if you haven't. And, yeah. <laughs> Yo, bro, what up, man? How y'all doing, bro? How y'all doing? So look, y'all, I am back. It is currently the next day, though. Um, I went up into Deuce Crib. I was chilling, you feel me? At first, it was just me and Deuce, and more of the guys came, so, you feel me? It was just, hey, I was just spending time with the guys. We was just vibing, bro. We was talking, we was rapping, we was, we was you know, vibing, bro, like typical niggas do, you feel me? But um, after that, I went, I came back home probably like one, two, Mm, yeah, I came home kind of late. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I, I got home, got back home kind of late. Or maybe I was just like that tired, bro. Maybe it just felt later. But, y'all, bro, I woke up. I woke up, bro. My phone did. I cut my phone on. I had two missed calls from downstairs at four in the morning, bro. Four in the morning. I didn't even know these niggas come that early, bro. Real deal. I had two downstairs missed calls, bro, at four in the morning for Amazon, bro. And, and they wasn't able to get in to the building. So they basically said they wasn't able to deliver my package and Bruh. turning it to the carrier or they got to do something and they going to try again. Some, bro, like it was attempted, but oh my gosh, bro. Like four in the morning, bro. Nobody in the lobby, bro. Nobody. How do you even know I'm up, bro? Like four, y'all couldn't wait till like six at least, seven. And then it just so happened my phone was dead, bro. My phone. I gotta start putting my phone on the charger, bro. Who else be forgetting to put their phone on the charger, bro? <laughs> I can't be the, the only one over whooping like that, bro. You feel me? I, I can't. Am I over whooping? You feel me? Is that an over whoop? You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, I'll be forgetting to put my phone on the charger. But um, today, y'all, actually, I don't really got too much to do honestly um i really gotta wait on more packages so i won't miss no more you feel me because this actually the second time this happened to me the other day they tried to deliver my package couldn't deliver it so they delivered it the next day today it happened to me again so i hope i hope they just deliver it tomorrow honestly bro and i don't gotta wait more days you feel me like i hope they don't make me wait too too much longer but it's good bro patience is key patience is everything um hey i guess it's just helping me learn more patience i guess bro but when it comes to stuff like this bro it really gets under my skin like i i really got like a anti bug bro you feel me like i just uh, i want it i want it but like i be having a trade that's the that's the kid in me you feel me that's the old trade in me that's that old, when I was younger, Emmy, you feel me? Like, I want something, I want it now. Like, I want to get it, you feel me? Like, yeah, you feel me? But, um, 
Y'all, all I gotta do really today is also I gotta go to the bank. I gotta cash a check. You know what I'm saying? So I'm um I'm in here Chase Bank. And what else, bro? I feel like I had something else to do, bro. Oh, oh yeah. So I gotta go cash a check, bro. Um I'm trying to figure out what couch I want for my crib. So I actually just called up there to ask them to get measurements for me, bro. So they can get measurements of the crib. So you feel me? I don't go too big of a couch, too small. You feel me? It, it, it all makes sense. I, I want it to make sense. Yeah, bro, besides that, I really don't got too much, but I want to show y'all. I want to show y'all the living room again. Y'all don't mind me if I kind of look a little, you feel me? I'm, like, 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 if I got crust in my eyes, which I know I do, I'm on them. Get right, bro. Don't mind me, because honestly, I just woke up, all right? So, y'all bear with me. But y'all, this is how the crib is looking, bro. This is, like, it's a different look for sure, but, you know, let me... Let y'all get one more look. Like, look at this, bro. The floor. It's bare floor, bro. This is bare floor, bro. It ain't even a floor no more. Like, I mean, I mean, it's a floor. My dumb ass. <laughs> it's a floor, but it don't got the rug no more, y'all. It don't got the rug, so it look kind of different. I got all these boxes over here stacked up. You feel me? They are, uh, they are uh, stacked over there. And um, there's more on the way, but y'all, bro. Y'all, bro, I'm really so blessed, bro. I'm really so happy. Like, I'm blessed to be able to wake up in this crib, bro. I got a roof over my head. I got furniture. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got all the stuff I need in terms of just, like, being satisfied, bro. And, and one thing about me, y'all, look. Cause like I told y'all, bro, I'm making more one-on-one -on -one content. Um, you feel me? Just me content. So. I want to talk to y'all more, interact with y'all more as my audience. But um, y'all, bro, if you don't know me, let me let me teach you a little bit about me, bro. This is the thing about me right here. Thing about me, y'all. I'm simple as hell, bro. I'm simple. I ain't gonna lie. I am simple, bro. Like like I don't want nothing too much. I don't need nothing too much, bro. I'm a simple nigga, bro. Like I'm like y'all don't understand how simple I am, bro. You can give me a rock. For my birthday, you can give me a rock and I'm gonna be happy as hell, bro. I'm gonna be so happy, bro, and just so grateful, bro. Like, you feel me? Like, I'm simple. I don't need the most. I don't need to to get the biggest of anything, bro. Like, I don't. And I'm big, me personally, bro. I don't know about everybody else. And I don't know how they think. But me, and this, this, this message was taught to me when I was younger, bro, from my granny. You know what I'm saying? Like, she always told me this. Live below your means. What does that mean, Trey? What, what does live below your means mean? Basically, even if you can do more, even if you got it, you know what I'm saying? Live below that, you know what I'm saying? Hey, that's all I'm gonna say. I hope I hope it clicked up here for y'all. I hope y'all really understand what that means. So that don't mean like, like, you feel me? You can be filthy rich, right? For example, you could be filthy rich, but instead of going to get the biggest mansion you can get, you know what I'm saying? You can, nice big house, something calm, but still a lot of space, you feel, but you living below what you really can do. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm that type of person, bro. I live below my means, bro. Like, like I, I don't, I still eat noodles. I still will go get some quick fast food. I don't need a steak, shrimp, woo, 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 this every single day. And I don't need to, nah, bro. Nah, bro, I'm a simple nigga, bro. I, um, I be appreciative of stuff, bro. No, I really do. I really do. And I'm not trying to talk y'all heads off, y'all. But I'll be trying to, I don't know. I'll be trying to let y'all get into my mindset a little bit. And it might, you never know, like, who I'm talking to. I never know who I'm reaching, who I'm talking to. So I might be able to influence your mindset to think a whole different way that you never thought. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully, what I just told y'all, kind of, y'all can resonate on it. You feel me? Y'all can, can sit on it and really think about it. But like... Hey, my granny always told me, man, live below your means. So basically, even when you can't really pop your yeah, feel me, really pop it. Like you can really pop it. Hey, be be satisfied with, it. you feel me? Just just something calm, something cool, even when you can do more, bro. You know what I'm saying? I hope y'all get what I'm putting down. I hope y'all picking up what I'm putting down, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, y'all, it don't take much for me to be satisfied, bro. Honestly, I'm a very simple person. Um, I'm, I'm a grateful person. I don't, I personally, I don't like 
no ungrateful, un like not appreciative stuff, bro. I just don't, I just, I don't like that. Because I know like people, if somebody do a nice gesture for me, bro, they did not have to. Like you did not have to. If you come over to my house and you bring me paper towels, dog, I'm happy as shit. Why? Cause you did, like, you ain't have to do that. You ain't really have to do that. But you just came over and you brought me paper towels. That's so you thought about me in a way. And hey, you feel, that's what type of person I am, bro. Oh, bro. Oh, bro. So like, even just being able to wake up in my own crib, you know what I'm saying? It's a blessing, bro. And I'm honestly, I'm, I'm happy and satisfied. And, and I, I worked, I worked hard. So it's time for the next chapter. It's time for me to move forward, you know what I'm saying? Move, move on and forward with my life, and we on to the next. And my next career, bro, I literally move in a few days. So it's like, it might be bittersweet, bro. Like, moving out of here, it might be bittersweet just because it's my first career, bro. It's my first career. And if you haven't had your first career, you're not going to understand that feeling until you had your first career, you know what I'm saying? But... Yeah, man, we didn't we didn't did a lot of stuff up in this crib, bro. A lot of vids went down in this crib. A lot of good content went down in this crib. I made a lot of memories in this crib. Um, yeah, this, this this crib is definitely stamped, definitely stamped forever. As the Arnest HQ, bro, dead ass Arnest HQ, no cap. But anyways, y'all. Anyways, I hope I ain't talk y'all head off too much. But I'm about to. Get myself together, brush my teeth, you know what I'm saying? Um, take a shower, get right, do all that stuff. Go handle what I need to handle. Or matter of fact, I might just brush my teeth and then come back and take a shower and stuff so I can just chill for the rest of the day. I don't know. But I'm about to just really get to starting my day, get to doing what I need to do. Um, yeah, y'all, this video wasn't that long. It was just really to come back to y'all update y'all since I ain't rap with y'all, talk to y'all in a minute, and let y'all know what's really going on. And yeah, like I'm, I'm getting ready to move, bro. I'm about to be out. I'm about to dip, homie, you know what I'm saying? I'm about to dip, so yeah. I'm really appreciative. Thank all of y'all for all y'all support, bro, along the way. Y'all been supporting so much, and I appreciate my genuine, authentic, real supporters, bro. Not, su not even, that ain't even supporters, but not people who support when it's convenient or support when they feel like, you no, know, the people that always support, bro, no matter what. I appreciate y'all, y'all my real supporters, bro. And and if, if anybody else who, who talking about me, talking down on me, hate on me, hey, F you, but thank you too. You feel me? Thank you for your hate, thank you for whatever. It gives me motivation, so. Um, yeah, man. I love all my genuine supporters and all y'all. I hope y'all continue to watch me, bro. And yeah, I got I got a lot of vids in store. I got things coming up. I got, you feel me? I got plans, bro. I got plans. So I just want y'all to stay with me, rock with me, and um, man, shit, come get in with me. You know what I'm saying? Cause you want to be a boss. You got to pay the price, huh? Left wrist on front, look like a bag of ice. Uh, I'm driving a Bentley Bentayga like I don't love my life. I'm in that thing shit. And I'm lane switching. Bitty big tray, I'm standing on. Hey. Hey. You know what I'm saying? I'm done, bro. Thank y'all for watching. Make sure you like, comment if you haven't. Also, subscribe if you're new. I love y'all. And, um, yeah. Your boy Trey out, man. Love y'all. Gang. She blowing me like a saxophone. She blowing, she blowing me like a saxophone. Playing it in one of the pit rooms, she blowing me like a saxophone.